no ha podido valorar incluso el nombre oficial. Good evening, people. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? How are you? Good evening, teacher. How was um, your weekend yesterday? I'm glad to hear that. Did you have a good weekend? Did you do something special? No, just rest. Just watch TV. Did you watch TV? Yeah, and sleep. All right, I'm glad. Sleeping is good for you work, uh, for you hard working people. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. What's for today's session? Here we go. This is today's, um, well, wait, we're finally on unit three. And our objective of today's session is to describe the fundamentals of two digital marketing strategies, okay? Uh, so this is for the units. Okay. So our class objective today is to to write a conversation. Okay. Using using confirmation questions. Okay. Are you ready? So repeat it with me. Write a conversation using. Write a conversation. Write a conversation. Using question. Confirmation questions. Okay. Confirmation questions. So here we go. Let's let's go ahead with our first uh, practice. Our first exercise is for pronunciation. So here we go. Let's see. So basically, you're going to practice this conversation with a partner. I'm sending you to practice this conversation in pairs but first of all we're going to practice how we're going to role play so you guys repeat after me do you have any change for the washing machine do you, do you have, have any change, change for, the for the washing machine? machine okay one more time we're asking a question so we sound like do you have any change for the washing machine do you have, do you have any, any change for the, the washing machine? Machine for the washing machine awesome so we say my wife, Sharon, is visiting her parents in Michigan. My wife, my wife Sharon, is visiting her parents in Michigan. Michigan. I am watching the children and doing the chores. I'm watching the children watching and the doing, children the children doing the chores. I'm watching the children and doing the chores. Chores. Awesome. Okay. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Don't put bleach on those shirts. Don't put, Don't put bleach, Don't put bleach on, those on those shirts. Don't put bleach on those shirts. On those shirts. You'll wash out the color. You'll wash out the color. You'll wash out, out the color. The color. Are we okay with the vocabulary so far? Yes? I just, I don't know yes. what is the meaning of watch out. Watch out. Watch out is like, hey, be careful, be careful, stop, right? Be okay. careful. Okay, now, 
the person says, don't put bleach on those shirts. Do you know a famous bleach brand in El Salvador? A brand? Mm. This is a product. Do you know a brand that's famous here in El Salvador that produces this product? Yes, Magia Blanca. Good. So the person says, hey, watch out. I'm sorry. Good. Don't put bleach on those shirts. Don't put Magia Blanca on those shirts, okay? So, we say, you'll wash out the color. Wash out. Wash out. So, the color, the color will disappear. When we say, you'll wash out the color, we're saying, the color will disappear. Are we okay? Yes? Yes. Okay. So, this one sounds, watch out. Watch out. There's the T. Watch out. One more time. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. And this one sounds like, wash out, wash out. Okay. Wash out. Wash All right. Out. Perfect. Wash out. Okay. Then Richard says, will you teach me how to wash clothes? Will you teach me how to wash clothes? Will you teach, will you teach me how to, how to, how to, how to wash, wash clothes? clothes? Okay. So Tom says, be sure to wash white shirts separately. Be sure. Be sure to wash white, white shirts separately. 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 Okay. Don't use too much soap. Don't use too much soap. Don't use, Don't use, too, much use too much soap. soap. Okay. Very good. The next one. I wish Sharon would return. 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 It's more natural for a woman to wash and shop. It's, it's more natural, natural for a woman to wash and shop. shop. To wash and shop. To wash and shop. To wash and shop. Wash and shop. Okay, the next one. You sound like a chauvinist. You sound like a chauvinist. You, you sound like a chauvinist. What is the picture? A chauvinist is a man or a person. Okay. That thinks that women belong to the kitchen. Machista. Okay. Yes. Women are not allowed to study or to do things or to have equal rights as men. Okay. A chauvinist. Okay. Do you know people who are chauvinists? Do you know yes, anybody who is a chauvinist? Yes? No, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. You don't. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind. mind. I don't mind doing chores. I don't mind doing chores. I don't mind doing chores. I'm great in the kitchen too. I'm great in the kitchen too. I'm great in the kitchen too. And then Richard says, "Would you like to take charge? Would you like to take charge? Would you like, Would you to, like take to take charge? charge? I'll cheerfully pay you cash. I'll cheerfully pay you cash. I'll, I'll cheerfully, cheerfully pay you cash." Pay you cash. This one sounds like I'll, like Sherford Alfred, I'll, I'll cheerfully pay you cash. I'll cheerfully pay you cash. You know, cheerfully, yes? What is it, cheerfully? It is like happily, but very excited. Hey, take my money. I am happy to give you my money. I'll okay. cheerfully, like, like the cheerleaders, cheerleaders, they are very cheerful. So the person says that he will pay Tom cash happily or cheerfully okay okay all right let's see so we say listen old chap listen old chap listen old chap chap is like folk friend old chap okay i'm a bachelor i'm a bachelor and too old to chase after children I'm a bachelor. I'm a bachelor. I'm a bachelor. After children. Children. Okay. Children. I'm in a rush. I'm in a rush. I'm in a rush. It's been nice chatting with you, Richard. It's been nice chatting with you, Richard. It's been nice chatting with you, Richard. Sure. Nice chatting with you too, Tom. Sure. 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 Nice chatting with you too, Tom. Okay, where is this conversation taking place? In a house? Yes. You think so? I think so. Okay, other guesses? 
Other guesses? Where do you think this conversation is taking place? Or maybe in a supermarket. Mm. Will be. What are the people doing in the conversation? Washing their clothes. So they're washing their clothes. What would be the place for you to go wash your clothes? In the laundry. In the laundromat. Very good. A laundromat. Very good. So I'm sending you the name of the place. A laundromat. Okay. So a laundromat is where you go wash your clothes. Or do the laundry. Right. Okay. So as you can see, one of the men doesn't have any idea on how to wash the clothes. Okay. So we have Tom and Richard. Okay. I want you to to sound like you are Tom and Richard. Okay, I'm sending you to practice in pairs. Okay, now you know how to pronounce the words. You know the <clears throat> vocabulary. Let's do it. Are you ready? Yes? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, five groups. Okay, so I'm having five groups. Five groups, one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. I'm sending you the info. No worry. Drive safe. Ah, okay. Okay. I know but that is trafficking. Hey, did you finish the, the homework? Yes, I, I did. Uh, both. I, I finished both. Sure. You'll wash out the color. You will you teach the me? Okay. Will you teach me how to wash clothes? Be sure to wash. Sorry. <laughs> Be sure to wash white shirts separately. Don't use too much soap. I wish Sharon good return. It's more natural for a woman to wipe. Watch out, don't put bleach on those shirts. You wash out the color. Will you teach me how to wash clothes? Be sure to be sure to wash white shirts separately. Don't use too much soap. I wish I don't wear the song. It's more natural for No, oh, the other the, the other picture. Chores? What is the meaning of chores? Uh, I'm washing the shirt and doing the chore. 
let me see. It's the activities you do at home, like mopping the floor, washing the dishes. Okay. Cleaning the house okay. in general. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank there you. are chores. Exactly. You, you know them as house chores, uh -huh. or you can also mm -hmm. call them just chores. Okay. Mm, what else? Okay, yeah. don't worry. Sure, nice chatting with you too, Tom. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't pay, pay attention. What the meaning of chauvinist? Chauvinist. chauvinist. Uh, it's uh, a man that thinks that the woman is uh, only it's it's obligated to the kitchen or to keep the the care of the of the children. It's a un machista. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. An old chap. Uh, I'll cheerfully pay you cash. Listen, old chap. I am not a tailor. I'm too old to pay after children. I am in a rush. It's been nice chatting with you, Richard. Sure, nice, nice chatting with you too, Tom. Okay. You want to repeat okay. it again?
Okay, now let's see. We're gonna have two people role play the conversation for us. Here we go. We're gonna ask. So here's our conversation. So we're asking. One second, I need to see my my pairs of students. Okay, so we're asking Herman and Janet to role play for us. Three, two, one. Here we go. Okay. Okay. You are Richard Herman. Okay. But the the conversation is okay, it, it was wrong. Okay. Do you have any change for the washing machine? My wife Ch Chiron is visiting her parents in Michigan. I am watching the children and doing the chores. Watch out, don't put bleach on those shirts. You'll wash out the color. Would you teach me how to wash clothes? Be sure to wash, wash shirts separately. Don't use too much soap. I wish Sharon worked on. It's more natural for a woman to wash and chop. You sound like a chauvinist. I don't mind doing curds. I'm great in the kitchen too. Would you like to take church? I'll cheerfully pay you cash. Listen, old chap. I'm a bachelor and too old to chase after children. I'm in a rush. It's been nice chatting with you, Richard. Sure, nice chatting with you too, Jan. All right, very good, very good <laughs> job. All right, now this one, chores, right, chores. Okay, sure. oh, all right, very good. So before we move on to our next activity, let's work in a tongue twister session here. So we have, okay. I'm sending you again to work in pairs, okay? But this time you're working on these sentences, okay? So you are going to try to say these sentences real quick. Okay, so repeat with me, here we go. We say, let's choose new shoes. Let's choose new shoes. Let's choose, let's choose new, new shoes. shoes. Okay. Let's choose new shoes. One more time. Let's choose new shoes. Let's, let's, let's choose, choose new shoes. shoes. She's eating the cheese. She's eating the cheese. She's eating the cheese. She's eating that cheese. She's eating the cheese. One more time. She's eating the cheese. 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 Okay. Three. Sherry likes cherry pie. Sherry likes cherry pie. Sherry likes cherry pie. Sherry likes cherry pie. Four. He paid cash for the catch of the day. He paid cash for the catch of the day. He paid cash for the catch of the day. Catch of the day. Catch of Catch of the day. Catch of, catch catch of, of the, the day. day. Okay. Five. The puppy shouldn't chew the shoes. The puppy should. The puppy shouldn't chew the shoes. The puppy, the puppy, puppy should shouldn't chew the, the shoes. shoes. The puppy shouldn't chew. Shouldn't chew like to chew the train. The puppy shouldn't chew the shoes. 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 Shouldn't chew, shouldn't chew. The puppy shouldn't chew the shoes. Shouldn't chew the shoes. The puppy shouldn't chew the shoes. Awesome, very good. Six. The chef prepared a special dish. The chef. The chef. The chef. The chef. In this case, we say the chef and not the chef, like with the chef. The chef, because chef, chef comes from French. So we say the chef prepared the special prepared a special dish. Okay, now seven. Too much milk makes mushy mashed potatoes. Too much milk. <laughs> too you get it? Too much milk. 
Too much milk makes mushy mashed potatoes. Too much milk makes mushy mashed potatoes. Okay, good. The last one. Please shine the furniture with polish. Please shine the furniture with polish. Please shine the furniture with polish. Okay, so I'm sending you this into your group practice. Help your partner. Help your partner. Don't be shy to correct your classmate. If you correct your classmate, you are helping your classmate. If you if you know your classmate is saying things wrong and you don't say anything, you are not helping each other. And that is not okay. Help your classmate. Are you ready? Yeah? Yes. Okay, here we go. Or Sorry? driving. Or driving. No, I'm, I'm driving, but but I'm okay. okay. I I'm on traffic. Okay. The one I can start. Okay. okay. <clears throat> uh, let's choose new shoes. Let's can you share? Can can somebody share the conversation? Well, the sentences. <laughs> I don't have WhatsApp on the computer, man. <laughs> but it, it's in the chat. Are, are you in the... Uh, okay. Oh? Out of the session and you can found it. Okay. I will try the, the second. Sorry, Rana. Did you hear me? Hi. Okay. You start or furniture. Furniture. Okay, Oscar. If you want, make the the first three. Got it. Let's choose new shoes. She is eating the cheese. Sherry likes cherry pie. Go ahead. Okay. For he, he paid cash for the catch of the day. The shoes. <laughs> shoe the shoe the shoes. Shoe the shoe the shoes. Okay. The the chair prefer. Our special dish. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, again, all, all the all the the phrase or a sentence. sentence. Okay. Cherry likes cherry pie. Good. Number four. A. He paid cash for the catch of the day. He paid cash for the catch of the day. Good. <laughs> the puppy shouldn't chew the shoes. The puppy shouldn't chew the shoes. The chef prepares a special dish. Too much meal makes mush, make, make mushy mashed potatoes. Please shine the furniture with polish. Okay. Let's choose new shoes. Number yes, five. Yeah. The, the puppy, the puppy shouldn't chew the shoes. Shouldn't chew, shouldn't chew. 
too much milk makes smashy, smashed potato. Okay, sure. mm -hmm. For me, I think. Sounds like Japanese. Mushy, <laughs> mushy. <laughs> Okay, so homework for you is to keep on practicing the sentence. Later on during the week, I'm going to ask you to read it for me in a random session. Okay, so let's go back to our business. Okay, so over here. Now, I'm going to have two people role play this conversation for me. Okay, so I'm choosing Karina and Karina is going to be Isabel. And I'm also choosing Salvador. Okay, so here we go. Okay, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> the candidate manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords, uh, I told you did it. You did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialists. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Thank you. Okay, so. Look at the words in bold. We have didn't he, didn't you, will we, isn't it? Okay. In the first one, the person says, the content manager revised the list of keywords. Didn't he? Okay. When Samuel says didn't he, he is referring to who? To whom? When he says he, who is the person he's referring to? The person. Uh, the manager. Keywords. 
So the content yeah. manager, right? Okay. So he says, okay, in this case, he's making a statement. Okay. It's like when your mother says, hey, you cleaned, because we have a verb in the past, right? So your mama says, hey, you cleaned your room, right? Okay. Oh, you cleaned your room. This isn't a question here. You see, this, in, this doesn't have the structure of a question. This is a sentence or a statement. Are we okay so far? Yes? Yes. This is a sentence. Okay, so in this case, the person says, the content manager during, the content manager revised the list. Okay, good. But, but in this case, after this comma, Samuel says, didn't he? Oh, he is asking a confirmation question. He wants Isabel to confirm this information Samuel said previously. Okay. Samuel wants Isabel to say, yes, what you're saying is true. Okay. Now, in this other case, Isabel says, the list of keywords? I thought you did it. Didn't you? Oh, in this other case, Isabel has another statement. You see, this is another another sentence. Isabel says, I thought you did it. Didn't you? Okay. So she wants she wants Samuel to confirm this information. Okay. So when we ask confirmation, confirmation questions, we usually ask the structure of the question at the end. Okay using the auxiliary of the tense we're using. Okay, what tense is in sentence number one? The content manager revised the list. What is the tense? Present, past, or future? It's in past. Can you tell past. me? Past. It is in the past, yeah. right? It's in the past. You have the verb revised. Okay, so the confirmation question, the confirmation for his question is in the past with the past auxiliary. Didn't he? You see, didn't. Take a look at this one. I thought you did it. It's in the past as well, right? Yes? Yeah. I thought you didn't. Now, the confirmation question goes with the auxiliary in the past. Didn't you? My auxiliary for the question, for the confirmation question, is opposite to the statement I say. Going back to the first one. In the first one, the statement is in a positive or in a negative form. The content manager revised the list of keywords. Is it positive or negative up to that po point? Positive. The content manager revised the list of keywords. It's positive. Okay, good. Now, my confirmation question is, didn't he? It has to go in the opposite. It has to be negative. In the opposite way, negative way. The next one. I thought you did it. Is positive or negative? I thought you did it's it. Positive. Okay, so my confirmation question is the opposite. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, the next one. Here. Help me read this one. It says, we won't have problems later with search engine optimization. Okay, this is what tense? Positive, negative. Uh, we won't. Okay, it's we negative. Won't. Okay, and what tense is it? Present, past, or future? Future. It is future, right? So he is saying a statement. Okay, he's making an exclamation. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization. Ah, but I want confirmation of what I'm saying. I want you to confirm that my statement is true. So I say, will we? Confirm that to me. Will we? Oh, look, because my statement is in or has the structure of a negative sentence, okay? So I have to ask my confirmation question in the opposite way with the auxiliary that represents the tense I'm using. This is future. So I'm going to say, will we? Will we? Okay. Are we okay so far? Are we okay so far? We're checking, yeah. we're checking the introduction. Okay, we're gonna practice a little bit more. Okay, so we have here, we have. Um, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. 
this has the structure of a positive or of a negative sentence. It's good that I asked you. Okay. Positive or negative? We're focusing on, on this one. It's good that I asked you. It's positive or negative? Positive. 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 Okay. And positive. it's in the present, it's in the future, or it's in the past? Present, past. future, past. Past. Okay. So I say, it's good that I ask you, and I want your confirmation. Say yes. Say that say say yes to my statement and i say isn't it isn't it i want your confirmation when i ask you a confirmation question i want you to to say yes adriana what you're saying is is the way you say it. yes you are right okay so we're gonna check these confirmation questions in a chart okay so look here okay so it says, the topic we're checking right now is called tag question. Okay, we turn a statement into a question. We use them to check information that we think is true. So I say something because I think it is the way I say it. And I just want other people to confirm if what I'm saying is true or not. Okay, so the main clause, repeat it with me, the main clause, or the main idea is positive. Repeat it with me. The main clause is positive. The main clause is positive. And the tag question is negative. And the tag question is negative. And the tag, and the tag, tag question is negative. Is negative. Is negative. Oh, okay. So this is the main idea. It is positive. Okay. Repeat it with me. The content manager revised the list of keywords. The content, the content manager, manager revised the, the, list, of the list of keywords. keywords. Oh, okay. So. This is what I say. I think what I say is true, so I want you to confirm it. And I say, didn't he? Okay. Oh, so look, the tag question is negative. Okay. Now, another one. He's in charge of designing our new web page. He's in charge. He's in charge. He's in charge of designing our new web page. Our new web page. Isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? He's okay. Saying Oh, look, my statement is positive. So my confirmation question is negative. Now, repeat with me. If the main clause is negative, if the main clause is negative. If the main, the main clause, clause is, is negative, negative. If the main clause is negative, the tag the question, question is, is positive. positive. The tag question um, is positive. If I say, he isn't in charge of designing our new web page. He isn't design. He isn't in charge. He isn't in charge of designing. He isn't in charge of designing our new web page. Is he? Is he? Confirm that to me. So I say, is he? Okay. This is similar to to saying, um, él no está cargo de diseñar nuestra nueva página web. O sí. Every, every confirmation question in Spanish, we would transform it as, o si, or no, o si, okay. It goes opposite to what we say. Okay, the next one. There, there wasn't any increase in the traffic yesterday. Repeat it with me. There wasn't. There wasn't. There wasn't an increase in traffic yesterday. In traffic, in traffic yesterday. In traffic. Okay. Was there? Was there? Oh, I when was I say there? when I say was there, what am I referring to? When I say was there, what am I referring to? Was there? What am I referring to when I say was there? Teacher, I would translate it like verdad. It's okay, verdad or no or si. Okay, so was there? But this refers to traffic. You see. There wasn't any increase to the increase of traffic. Was there? Like in Spanish, we always say, verdad. Just confirm what I'm saying. Confirm to me that what I'm saying is true. Okay, we're going to watch a video. Okay, so I'm going to mute you all. And I just need you to confirm with me if you're able to listen to the, to the video. Okay, so give me a second. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay, so okay, so I'm getting authorities, they're gonna see that. I'm muting you all. Okay, so thumbs up if you can listen to the video. Let's see. Tag questions. Let's get started. Thumbs up in your. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Okay, just pay attention to it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this new video lesson. Today, we're going to study about tag questions. Let's get started. So what are tag questions? Let's look at an example. He is Latin, isn't he? Isn't he? So tag questions are short questions we use at the end of a statement to ask if we are correct or to ask for agreement. And how do we form tag questions? To make a tag question, we use an auxiliary verb like the auxiliary to be, to do, to have, or sometimes modal auxiliaries, plus a subject pronoun. Let's see example. First, when the statement is positive, you make a negative tag question. An example is, Zlatan is a famous player, isn't he? So we first change the verb form is from positive to negative, isn't. And then we add the subject pronoun he. This is another example with the verb to be. He was a great player, wasn't he? So remember, we change again the verb form was from positive to negative wasn't plus the subject pronoun he. When the sentence has other regular verbs in the positive form, we use don't or doesn't to make the question tags. An example is, you like it, don't you? Don't you? Here is another example with a different verb. He plays football, doesn't he? Doesn't he? When the sentence has a verb in the past simple tense, we use didn't plus subject pronoun to make negative tag question. An example is, he played for Barcelona, didn't he? Didn't he? But when the statement is negative, we make a positive tag question. An example is, Zlatan isn't French, is he? Is he? So we change the auxiliary to be from negative to the positive form is, and then you add the subject pronoun he. This is another example. You weren't a fan of him, were you? Were you? So remember to change the auxiliary form from negative to the positive form, and then you add the subject pronoun. When the sentence has another regular verb, we use do or does to make positive tag questions about the present. An example is, he doesn't play basketball, does he? Does he? When the sentence has a verb in the simple past, we use did plus subject pronoun to make positive question tags. Just like in this example, he didn't play for Madrid, did he? Did he? When the sentence has a modal auxiliary in the positive form, we change the modal auxiliary into the negative form, just like in this example. Zlatan can score many goals, can't he? Can't he? But if the modal auxiliary is in the negative form, 
you change it into the positive form and then you add the subject pronoun, just like in this example. He will not play for Madrid, will he? Will he? That's everything for today. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and keep practicing. All right, let's discuss this information all together. Do you, do you have any questions so far before we move on to the next activity? Any questions? No? Tell me, no. I'm listening. Are you fine? Are you okay? Yes. Okay. So let's put into practice what we just saw in the video. All right. So here we go. Okay. So we're going to play a game over here. But I'm going to display my screen. Can you, can you listen to what's on the video? Yes? Yes. Okay. So here we go. Now, the, he is a TV host, and this is the grammar game show. I'm going to be pausing the task to ask you for the right answer before the participants give the right answers. So here we go. Hello and welcome to today's Gorama Game Show. I'm your host, Will. Just try and contract me, you'll see what happens. And of course, let's not forget Leslie, our all-knowing voice in the sky. Hello, everyone. Tonight, we're going to ask you three questions about question tag. Those little auxiliary verb plus pronoun combinations for checking and asking. OK, now let's meet our contestants. Hello, all. My name's Liz. And contestant number two. It's nice to meet you. I'm Felicia. Nice to see you again, Liz. This will be four in a row for you, won't it? Win this one and you'll be our longest running contestant, won't you? This is game show history, isn't it? I'll do my best. That's the spirit. I might even let it help you. Okay, let's get going and don't forget, you can play along at home too. Here comes round one. Fingers on buttons. What is the basic rule for construction of a question tag? Use an auxiliary verb that matches the main verb phrase, but opposite, such as positive to negative, then add a pronoun that refers to the subject. Correct. Well done. Let's get some practice. I'll give you the sentence and you give me the question tag. He can play football. He can play football, can't he? Okay, repeat it with me. He can play football. He can play football. And play football. He can play football. Can he? Can he? Can he? Can he? Can he? This is opposite can to the statement, and it's the same auxiliary verb. Okay, can. Opposite, can't. One more time. Uh, she is asking, or I am asking, for a confirmation to my statement. Okay, let's continue. Correct. You didn't see James. Okay, what's the question tag? You didn't see James. Did me? Oh, didn't see right. James. Okay, and the question tag is one more time. Did Did you? There you go. You did didn't you? see James, did you? Correct. She never Okay. So the statement is she never cleans up. Repeat it with me. She never cleans up. She never cleans up. She never cleans up. Okay. She and never cleans up. Is, does she? Yes. She cleans up. She never cleans up, does she? Correct. Awesome. Very good. They've been to France. Okay. What tense is this? Past Polish one. Mm. And present. Have... Continue. Present continue. Present continue, oh. yeah. Are you sure? When I say have been present perfect, there you go, present perfect. So uh, we have been to France. What is the tag question? 
Haven't they? Haven't they? Oh, let's see. They've been to France, haven't they? Awesome. Very good. Correct. You hardly ever study. Okay. Question tag? Do you? Is this positive or negative? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Let's see. You hardly ever study, do you? Correct. I'm amazingly okay. Look, this one. You hardly ever study. They validate it as uh, a do you, you over here. Okay. Because hardly ever has a, has a negative context. Okay. You hardly ever studied has a negative context. That's why they say do you. The study, do you? Correct. I'm amazingly cool. Okay. I'm amazingly cool. Tag question. Wasn't I? Is this present or past? Am I? Present. I. Okay, so this is present. How do we ask a question when I have I am? Aren't I? Are. Mm, good, you got it right. I'm amazing. Cool, aren't I? Aren't I? When, when you ask a reflexive question to the subject pronoun I, it has to go like, and it's negative, we say aren't, aren't I. Very good, you got it right. Correct. Uh, uh, sorry, you are amazingly cool. Right? Ah, but look, this one, this one says, you are. So the question is, aren't you in this case? You. Also correct. Though factually inaccurate. <laughs> no bread or water for you tonight, Leslie. <laughs> Do your job. That was good work, wasn't it? Question tags are used to ask questions or check information. They are constructed by using an auxiliary verb from the main verb phrase and a pronoun referring to the subject. If the main verb phrase is affirmative, the question tag should be negative and vice versa. Well done, both of you. 10 points to Felicia and five to Liz. What? Why five? Uh, you're nearly our next champion. You didn't think we were going to just give it to you, did you? Our last champion was so wonderful. Oh, I'll never forget her. Good old... Uh, Mia. Maya, Maya. Anyway, on to round two. This is a triple threat round. Three questions. Get them all right to score. Question one. What is the question tag for an imperative, such as be quiet? Okay, so the person says be quiet. Question tag? Check it, check it. Use a modal verb like could or will. Be quiet, could you? Correct. That's just rude. Minus three points. Question two. What is the pronoun used in a question tag for sentences using there, such as there's no hope? Okay, so statement. There's no hope. There's. Okay. What could be the tag question? Isn't there? Let's see. We repeat the there. There's no hope, is there? Okay, so this one is negative, right? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, so we keep on playing with the opposite. So if I say something as the negative sentence, there's no hope, I just uh, ask my confirmation question with the opposite. Is there? Let's continue. Rick, you should never give up hope. Minus 100 mm. points for being a pessimist. <laughs> Last question. What is the pronoun used in question tags using words like somebody or something? For somebody, we use they. Somebody wants me to win, don't they? As for something, we use it. Something went wrong, didn't it? Okay, look, 
somebody refers to a person, right? Somebody? Yes? Are we okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody refers yeah. to a person and something refers to a thing. Okay. So since somebody is an indefinite pronoun, meaning that we do not refer to a person specifically, okay, all we know it's a plural noun. So we're going to ask our confirmation question with don't they? Repeat the question with me. Somebody wants me to win, don't they? Repeat it with me. Somebody wants me to win. Somebody wants me don't to they? win. Don't, don't they? they? Okay, very good. Don't they? And the next one. Something, referring to a thing, something went wrong. Getting it? Okay. Something, went, something wrong. went wrong. Something went wrong. Didn't it? Oh, okay. So it refers to an indefinite thing. Okay. So we'll take it. We'll take it as something that's singular. Okay. Something went wrong. Didn't okay. it? Good. Very good. Now. Okay. So I think we uh, won't get to have much time to work on the conversation we planned for the beginning of the class. I'd rather you to continue practice. Okay, so I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna send you an activity to work in groups, okay? So I'm sending you a screenshot of some sentences, some statements. All I want you to do is to work in groups and write the tag questions for every sentence. Are you ready? Yes? Okay, so Let's here we go. Do it. Okay. So let me send you into the groups and, and I will send you the material. Okay, so here we go. Three groups for this. Okay. Yeah, I see. Okay. The first is, isn't it? He's isn't late he? this morning. Isn't, isn't he? he? Yeah. The second, the hotel was quite good. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, wasn't it? Cooks well. Cooks three is. She cooks well. Does she? So doesn't she? Doesn't she? Or is you can tell the difference. You can, can you is saying he yes. He is late this morning. Isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah. Isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? The hotel was quite good. Wasn't it? Mm. Yes. Yeah. 
She cooks well. Doesn't well. she? Yeah. Yeah. Number four, you can tell the difference. Can okay, you? I think a jam. What's going on? Jan, are you there? Mm -hmm. My connection was. Are you, are you there? Don't worry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You can tell the difference. Can you? you? Oh, you yeah. see the can. same. Can you? Mm -hmm. Number five. They always sleep sleep after lunch. They always. Don't they? Yes. What number? Number five. The sentence. Aren't they? I think that is aren't they? Mm -hmm. Let me see here. There are a lot of cars. Cars included. Cars here. Are they? Yeah. If I put isn't it? Let me see if it's translated the same. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a little the same. <laughs> Let's keep R and they. No, I, I think that uh, grammatic, grammatically is is about uh, plural, plural noun. It's a, a plural noun. I think yeah. that it could yeah. be R and they. Hmm. Or R and they.
Okay, question tags. How do they go? Here's like this morning. Give me the answer. Isn't he, good. Isn't he? The hotel was quite good. Was, wasn't, wasn't it? it? Wasn't it? Very good. Three. She cooks well. She cooks well. Doesn't she? Okay. Doesn't she? Very good. This is simple present. Number four. You can't tell the difference. Can you? Can you? Can you? I always sleep after lunch. Don't, don't they? Don't they? Doesn't they? Don't they? Don't they? Don't they? Don't they? Right. Good. Six. You're coming with us. Are you? Don't you? Are you? Are you? Right. This is this is present progressive for the future. Right. So you're coming with us. One more time. You're coming with you're us. You're coming Are with you? us. Aren't you? Are you? Okay. Seven. Mm -hmm. Mary plays football. Doesn't she? Doesn't she? Good. We say the opposite. Good job. Eight. You didn't have any lessons this morning. Did you? Did you? Okay. Then, Anne is on holiday. Isn't she? Good. Isn't she? Yeah. Ten. The students see it every day. Don't, don't they? they? Don't they? Yeah. Don't they? Don't they, right? Don't they? Okay. Eleven. Mr. Priestley doesn't know your father. Does he? he? Does he? Does he? Does he? Very good. So, there are lots of cars here. There. Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they or aren't there? Yeah. Aren't there? Aren't there? Aren't there? there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, okay. For our last activity, because of time matters, I just want you to make. I just want you to make three questions, okay? Three questions with our tag questions for confirmation. You decide the tense, you decide the information. How many do I want? How many examples? Three. In groups, okay? So here we go. Maybe two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hey. You look familiar. You are Jan and Karina. Aren't you? It's the first one. <laughs> uh, the, uh, yeah. It's a good example. Yes. Well, let me see if I can. Herman. You work in a Roman. Uh, are you? Aren't you? Yes. I think that the tag question could be don't you? Okay. Oh, no. Don't you? Yes. The... Mm. Yeah. We, are, yeah. we do not agree. <laughs> the classmates don't want homework. <laughs> Okay. And the other one was Hector. The classmate don't want homework. Does they? Does they? Does they? Yes. Yes. Right. Don't. Don't they? Uh, don't, I no, think. because we are using don't. The classmate don't want. Okay. Uh, do they? Or does they? I don't know. It mm. is.
does or do? Did they? I'm thinking. In, in the group, she can help us. Can they? Teacher. We have, yeah. we have, we have a question. Okay. Oh, a question. The classmate don't, don't want homework. Does they or do they? We do say, they. we say do they. Does do is they. only for he hey. and she and it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. The other thing we are next to is. <laughs> Okay, tag questions. We have Carmen, Karina, and Janet. What do you have? Let me share with you, teacher. Yeah. Oh, we have three. Herman works in Ae, in our man. Doesn't he? Mm -hmm. You, Carrie, and Jan look familiar, aren't they? And tomorrow will be December 1st. Want it? I'm not sure about. We don't know. Okay. Sure. Good, good, good. That's good. Number two. You and you, Carrie, and Jan look familiar. No. Ah, okay. uh, and then the confirmation question. Or don't they? Don't you? Don't you? Because ah, okay. the person is speaking to you directly. Very good. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's continue with. Jorge, Luis, and Martin, and Oscar. Three people or four people over there. I guess. Yeah. Okay. What do you have? We because we are four, we have four okay. sentences. Sure. Ooh. You didn't came to class yesterday, did you? Uh, she's my best friend. My best friend, isn't she? Mm -hmm. She plays the piano very well. Doesn't she? Mm -hmm. And you didn't clean the house, did you? Awesome. Very good. Okay. Now, number number one, you didn't come. You didn't come to class, did you? Exactly. Very good. All right. Good job. Now, let's check our last group, which is 
Ernesto, Hector, and Salvador. What do you have? Okay. First is Chavita is from IT department. Isn't he? Mm -hmm. Hector is the best abandoned mechanic in the entire company. Isn't he? The classmates don't want homework. Do they? <laughs> Do they? Do you? Do they? Yeah. Of course not. <laughs> this, is a, this is a good example. <laughs> this is the example that I have in my life. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I get the message and, and it's for me as well. So <laughs> for me to co to confirm with you that information. All right, good job. Okay, so as you can see, this is all about tech questions. Okay, every time we want a person to confirm with us what we're saying, we use a tech question. Like somebody says, oh, there's no homework to do, is there? You see? Okay, so we're confirming the information. Now, uh, all I have left to do is to take your attention. Tomorrow and in the following days, we're going to continue practicing with this topic a little more until we master it completely. Okay, so let's take your attendance. Here we go. Let's see. Hector Arenales. Okay, Ernesto Cruz Perez. Here, here, teacher. Okay, uh, Jorge del Cid. Good teacher. Karina Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Janet Estrada. I'm here, teacher. Edwin Fabian. Hello. Okay, Martin Flores. Yes, teacher. Okay, Ronald Garcia. Ronald, Ronald, I can't tell. He's been here all He was here. Okay, so um, uh, Marvin Hernandez. Marvin, Marvin. Marvin was with us. Okay. Silvia Hernandez. Okay, no Silvia today. Luis Lara. Here. Georgina Lopez. This here, mm -hmm. I think. Let me see. Well, no, she couldn't access. Well, but she, but she's been um in in a big traffic jam. Okay. Jonathan Ramos. Salud Rauda. Eh. Angela Rendero. She's been here. As she's been here. Okay. Uh, Germán Rivera. Orpichel. Oscar de Jesús. Rivera. Hi. And Maria Jose Salvador. Uh, she has medical leave. So she went through um, a medical procedure. Okay. So. That's it, guys, for today. Thank you for joining your class with me. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye. 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 Take care. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome.